NASA launched Voyager 2 in the 1970s, which has since left the solar system and journeyed into interstellar space. Last week, the American Space Agency announced that it was experiencing problems with Voyager 2 spacecraft. But in the last few days, engineers have been able to stabilize the craft and resume its mission to collect scientific data on the solar system and the interstellar space. On January 25th, the well-known probe failed to execute a spin maneuver as intended. Therefore, two onboard systems remained on longer than planned, consuming so much energy that Voyager 2 automatically shut off its science instruments. Voyager 2 has a very limited amount of power. The spacecraft uses radioactive fuel to produce heat, which is converted to electricity. In order to conserve valuable power, the craft turns off non-essential systems, including its scientific instruments. However, on Wednesday, February 5th at 10 p.m. Eastern, NASA's Voyager Twitter account announced that Voyager 2 is not only stable, but is back at its critical science mission. It takes 17 hours for the signal to reach Voyager 2 from Earth, which is the furthest away man-made object in space. That means a single information relay takes 34 hours. At the moment, Voyager 2 is more than 122 times further from the Earth than the Sun is. Although it's been over 42 years since the spacecraft launched, Voyager 2's mission is far from over yet. If all goes well, it should have another five years of life left, meaning five more years of data collection from an area of space no one has studied before.